Hi everyone, Susan Harrell, media coach, marketing strategist, author of Sell Yourself Without Selling Yourself, published by HarperCollins and CEO of PRSecrets.com. Today, I wanna to share with you a technique that I use quite often with my clients and course participants, and it's called EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique or Tapping. It's super simple, really powerful. I do this almost every single day. You can do it on any kind of topic, anything that you want to shift. The key to this is not trying to change yourself, but really doing it for full acceptance of yourself, which is kind of an oxymoron, right? But um, it's really about not trying to change and then things will organically change through you neutralizing the um, issues and the things that are happening through the tapping. So it's very organic and it can be very, very fast. I mean, people have used this technique for everything from physical healings, emotional healings, um, no matter what the circumstances are. So the process is that we choose from a number from one to 10 and how strong your feeling is or how, how much pain there is on a scale of one to 10, how much emotional pain, physical pain, how much, um, wherever you are on this scale. So one is very little and 10 is really strong, like really super um, strong feeling. And then we're going to, at the end, see where you are on that spectrum. No judgment, it's just how things shift. It's just a way of measuring how you're shifting. Also in this, in this process, um, typically one of three things will happen. Nothing, you won't notice anything. Uh, two, you will notice some physical sensation or emotional sensation or bodily sensation um, changing. And then number three, gosh, what is number three? Um, number three is, um, so I said nothing, noticing something and, oh, right. The third one is, I probably block that off because it's like some um, strong feelings or strong emotions or strong reactions will come up. And this is so to not stop those because this is it's just moving up and out. But I, I want to share that with you. So in case some of the stronger feelings or reactions start to come up, you'll recognize that's fine. Just let be whatever is. So we start off with what seems like a negative statement, but it's not. Um, we start as we go through the tapping points and I'll lead you through the points and you just repeat after me uh, silently or out loud, whatever you choose. And so I think it's just easiest to follow along and get started. So the first point is the karate chop point, which is here and you can tap. Um, sometimes I change hands and sometimes I do it together. It doesn't matter. So we just start with, um, a setup statement, which is no matter how unconfident or dismal I'm feeling, I still can come into peace and accept myself. I think I'm going to focus on just one thing. So even though I don't feel confident and comfortable in my own skin, I still completely love and accept myself. And if you can't get to love and accept myself, you can say something less, less strong, a little more neutral. So the third thing might be, um, even though I don't feel comfortable or calm in my own skin, I accept myself as I am in this moment. And now we'll do some things that are gonna sound a little bit negative, but then, and then we're gonna move into the positive, but it's just, um, it's just naming them and then we're going to be releasing them, so essentially. So the first point is in between the eyebrows here and you can do it with one hand or both hands like this. This lack of confidence, this feeling so demoralized, how uncom uncomfortable I feel. Why is this happening to me? So under the nose, then under the chin. 
everyone else seems to be have it together. Why not me? Then this is under the collarbones. This lack of confidence. And then under the arm, so right about the bra line point here. I feel like things will never change. And then top of the head. Things seem really stuck right now. Then back to the eyebrow point, point eyebrow point. This, these stuck feelings, outer eye, the ways that I can't move forward, under eye, how insecure I feel right now. Under the nose, this feels so hard and difficult and new. Under the chin, this is so hard and things move so slowly. Under the collarbone, I feel like I'll never get this. Under the arm, why can't this be easy? Top of the head, things seem so hard and slow to me. In between the eyes, can I open to feel a little bit lighter about myself? Side of the eye. Could I open to the possibility of being a tiny bit more confident under the eye? Could I call on my stores of reserve and respect inside myself to know that I can do whatever I want underneath the nose? I feel a glimmer of hope underneath the chin. Confidence is beginning to be part of my cellular biology underneath the collarbone. I feel like I can do almost anything underneath the arm. Things are feeling easier every day on top of the head. Little by little, ease is coming to me uh, in between the eyes. I can see the light of being more comfortable in my own skin outside the eye. Each time I do a media interview, I get more comfortable. Anytime I practice in front of the camera underneath the nose, I'm more comfortable. Underneath the chin, I feel actually kind of hopeful and joyful when I start to do media interviews or on camera underneath the collarbone. Doing media interviews and feeling confident is getting easier and easier every time I do it. Underneath the armpit, I look forward to doing media interviews. Top of the head, even if I feel anxious, I turn that anxiousness into excitement. I love the anticipation of a media interview uh, in between the eyes, outside the eyes, in the outer eye. Um, Every time I do a media interview, I get better and better. Underneath the eyes, I feel like it's really fun to do media interviews. Underneath the nose, I look forward to doing media interviews. And every time I do them, it, something wonderful happens in my business. Underneath the chin, when I do media interviews, people connect with me deeply because they feel who I am and they really get me underneath the collarbone. This is so wonderful that I'm expanding my reach and people connect so deeply with me and want what I have underneath the arm. My offer resonates with all the people who are right for it. Top of the head. This is such a fun and glorious process that I'm enjoying so much. And people who are seeing me and listening to me feel that enjoyment. And it's really um, expanding me personally and professionally. Take a deep breath in, release, soften. Scale of one to 10, where are you now? What shifted for you? So notice how you feel in your body. Notice if you feel lighter, notice if you feel hot. These are all, any sensation is fine. And if you feel nothing, that's fine too, or if things have come up. So if something does come up, 
that you've noticed that um, another fear or anxiety or just issue, you can go ahead and tap on that too. You know, this is one way. And again, so you can see how this can be endless and you can do it yourself. And I'm happy to do it with you. And you can listen to this as an audio as well as a video. And we'll do more on, and if there's specific, specific circumstances that you want me to do tapping on, then let me know. And I will do it on those specific topics. So I look forward to hearing how this worked for you. And I will speak to you soon.